here on Challenge, the survey's back for Family Feud. And now, more Bullseye. Welcome to our studio audience and all you people at home watching us on this Sunday afternoon for Bullseye. I've got to tell you, I've been offered a, a small part in the Shakespearean play, The Merry Wives of Windsor. Now, it, I don't want you to worry about it with it being Shakespearean, about it affecting my performance as host of Bullseye, because... Nay, a lack of lasser day, for I, James Ignatius Bowen of that ilk, should e'er forsake my roots and thus pretend to be other than that I am. Well, good, wasn't he? For verily, do we not walk the streets of life exhibiting our skills along life's dartboard? I think there's somebody else in for the part as well. I'm not sure it is. I think it's either, it's either Anthony Quinn. I'm not sure. It could, be Jay, it could be James Moore. I'm not just sure. It is I, James. It is but a small part. Yes, I can see that. And who is that with hand on hips exhibiting his cotton chips? <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's on tonight, Tony? We have in our midst four county players, one who beareth answering the question. Who beareth answering? Beareth. Beareth. <laughs> very good. Yes, anything else to tell me, sir? Uh, it's very warm. It is warm, yes. <laughs> I'm fed up with this. Go and get changed. Go on, get off and get yourself Thank ready. You. Let's meet our contestants on tonight's edition of Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. How are you, Donny? Nice to see you. Welcome to Nothing. How are you, Gary? No, we must be crackers on this show, must we? I don't know. Yeah. Donny McPrice and Gary Savage, you're you, you from Huntingdon? We are, yes. Young Anne from uh, Hexham. Hey, hey, my part of the How are you, Tom? How are you? You're a big fan of that, Tom. How are you? You wanted, you wanted to have a wave, didn't you? Yeah. Under somebody. Well, do it on two in there. Go on, say just what you want to say. Go on. I'd just like to say hello to my son, Graham. Hiya. That's your mum, that. <laughs> How are you, Steve? Oh, Jim. Welcome to the show. Hi. Oh, and another Steve. Out to confuse right. me again, the researchers. A new boys are from Exeter. You're a British Legion steward, ex-Royal Marine. Former Royal Marine, Jim. Oh, sorry. Because you're never an ex-marine, you're always former, you're absolutely yeah. right. I'm sorry about that. Royal Marines, uh, I was down at Devonport, had a marvellous time down there last year with the lads. <gasps> you lads are fit. You, see, this is interesting, Steve, you're a Carve, Carve Valley. Yeah, self-employed down at Evans Hall Shaw. Good man. I, Evans Hall Shaw, yes, I know the garage very well. Yeah. They sell nice cars at, <laughs> I can't say it again or I'll get in trouble. Have a good night, they've been great all day. Give them a warm round of encouragement. <laughs> Let's have a good night. Go on, off you go. Let's go again. Right. Oh, you... oh, that was quick, wasn't it? You did well there, didn't you? <laughs> I honestly didn't think he was going to make it back to play the game, but in fact he is. There are the questions waiting to be answered by the people over there who know. To remind you at home once again, Nida, Nida, the questions in the first round were £30 each. Let's get on with the game. OK, Donny, choose a subject for Gary. Uh, faces, please, Jim. All right, my pal. Come on, Gary. Faces, please, we'd like. Do take your time. One hundred. One hundred well pounds. Well done. Well done. Good start. <laughs> OK, that's fine. Good start for you there, Johnny. For a further thirty pounds, look at your monitors, all of you. But first stab up to this is Donny. Glenda Jackson. Glenda Jackson, now a politician. Yes, hundred and thirty pounds. Good start for you there. Now, Anne, what about it for Tom? I'll try places, please, Jim. Places, Tom, please. That's in sport, unfortunately. Subjects there, Jim. Categories there, so you're OK. Not a problem yet, Anne. Sport. Which country won the Five Nations Cup at Twickenham in March 1991? You're all right on that one. You're England. a resident. Pardon? England. England is right. £30 you've got. Steve for Steve. Britain, please, Jim. Yes, no problem, Steve. Britain we'd like. Well, he went for the bullet. Showbiz and the subject's there. The subject is there and it's for £30. And you know we do give you a little bit of assistance in the first round just to get you settled in. Showbiz, £30, Steve. Which top Hollywood box office star is an ex-Mr Universe? 
Arnold Schwarzenegger. You didn't need any help there at all, Steve. You're in the lead at the moment with £130. Donnie and Gary move on to round two. Questions, £50 each. A little bit more difficult, and of course the subjects are starting to disappear. Choose a subject, Donnie, for Gary. Places, please, Jim. Places, please, Gary. Yes, 50. 50 on, pounds Gary. you have. You're looking good. For another 50 pounds, Donnie. What is the name of the garden at the foot of the Mount of Olives where Jesus was betrayed and arrested? Garden of Eden? The light's going to come on. And we, yes, and we've got a buzzer on at the end, Steve. Gethsemane. Gethsemane gives you a £50 bonus. Well played. We move on, and it's Anne for Tom. I'll try affairs, please, Jim. 50. Well done, Tom. And he did it for you, no problem at all. Here we go, another £50 for you, Anne. In which city is the International Court of Human Rights? Strasbourg. Good girl. I thought that was... Well, you did well. I'm not supposed to comment on the questions. We move on. Steve for Steve. I'll try Britain again, please. <laughs> yes, all right. Come on, Steve. Britain we'd like. Yes, 50. Not a problem. Well, 50 pounds you have. For another 50 pounds, Steve. In 1967, Donald Campbell was killed attempting to break the water speed record. On which lake was he killed? Coniston. Coniston Water gives you £50. At the end of that round, in the lead, Donnie and Gary with £180, along with the two Steves. All right, round three. £100 a question now. More difficult again. How are you handling them at home? And look at the board. We've got left. History, books, words and spelling. Categories becoming isolated, dark players. Be very careful. Donnie for Gary. Words, please, Jim. Words, please, Gary. Yes, 50. 50 pounds you have. He's not let you down, Donny, has he? he certainly ain't. <laughs> no, you haven't let him down either, so you've nothing to be worried about. For 100 pounds, what word describes a government prohibition on the arrival or departure of merchant ships or certain types of goods from its ports? Embargo. Is exactly right, sir, for 100 pounds. Well done. And for Tom. I'll have history, please, Jim. Yes, all right, my love. Come on, Tom. It's there for 50. 50 pounds you've got. Dark players playing very well tonight. Steady away. For another 100 pounds for you, Anne. Which British Prime Minister resigned in 1957 after the controversy over the Suez Canal? Was it Harold Macmillan? The light's going to come on. And we're looking for a buzzer, and we've got one. If you can tell me, Donnie, you can have 100 pounds. Alec Douglas, you? It's still there if you want to have a crack at it, Steve. No, I've no idea, Jim. You are going to be cross. Anthony Eden. Oh, Anne knew it, didn't you? Just jumped in there, didn't you? Never mind, we move on. It's Steve <coughs> choosing for Steve. Books, please, Jim. Books we'd like, Steve. 50. Yes, well played. All of you, very well played. Steve, too. Here we go, for £100 for you. Just take your time, Steve. The film Jaws was a huge box office hit. On whose book was it based? Peter Benchley. That was on the buzzer just in time. We're giving it to you, sir. Peter Benchley gives you £100. The scores at the end of game one. We've joint leaders. First of all, Anne and Tom with £180, but joint leaders, we've got Gary and Donny and the two Steves with £330 each. Well played. <laughs> Very well played indeed. We move on to game two now, where we ask the three dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other to win for the partner a question. And the value of that question is the winning score. Pounds for points, and let's carry on over to Tony. Right you are, Gary. 20. Five and twenty forty five. Treble twenty. Twenty. Another twenty one hundred. Well done, Tom. Yeah. Okay, Steve. Hundred. Treble twenty. One. 
and five. Sixty-six. So the first round to Tom with one hundred, Jeff. And it's a hundred pound question. It gets you back in the race again. All right, you do take your time with this now. How many loaves and how many fishes did Jesus feed the five thousand on? Five fishes, twelve loaves. It's not. I can offer it for sixty-six pounds to Steve. Five loaves and seven fishes. I can offer it for forty-five pounds to Donny. Six and two. <laughs> <laughs> it was five loaves and two fishes, and he still lost the franchise to McDonald's. <laughs> we'll leave the scores <laughs> exactly as they were in the last, last round. Our joint leaders, Gary and Donny and Steve and Steve. Back to Tony. OK, Gary. 20. 20. And treble 20. 100. Well done, Gary. Five. One. Another five. Eleven. So it's a hundred to beat, Steve. Hard luck. Twenty. Five. And twenty forty-five. So with one hundred, Gary takes the second round, Jim. Donny, this is worth a hundred pounds, so he could take you into the lead and quite close to Bully's prize board. For a hundred pounds, Donny, what are the four main blood groups? Now, be careful. Don't say one unless you know them all, because we can pass the question on. The four main blood groups. Pass. OK, thanks for saving us time. The lights are on, but we don't need them. We're OK for £45. The same question, Steve. Don't say them unless you know all four, because you'll be helping Anne. Ho pos. Ho neg. Eight no, months. forget it. You're away. And the four main <coughs> blood groups. O, A, O, Reese's negative and Reese's positive. No, it's not. You're all, all of you round about it. It's O, A, B and A, B. So there we are. Still joint leaders with £330. The two Steves and Gary and Donny. And back to the last round in game two. OK, Gary, final round. 20. Treble 20. And 20. 100. Well done, guys. <laughs> 5. 20. And 20. 45. I'd look, Tom. OK, Steve. 100. Treble 20. 1. And 20, 81, unlucky. So the final round to Gary with 100, Jim. Donny, a little bit of pressure here. Take your time. This will take you through to Bullish Prize Board for 100 pounds. Which bird is the national emblem of New Zealand? Kiwi, Jim. The Kiwi gives you 100 pounds, giving you 430 pounds. So it's Donny and Gary through to Bullish Prize Board. Well played. <laughs> Very well played. Which means, sadly, we've got to say cheerio to Tom and Anne and the two Steves. In you come, all four of you. Very well played. In you come. In you come. Well played. Well done. Stick with it. Come on, young Annie, round this side. In you come, boys. Well played. Well played. Oh, so close. Never mind. I've got some money to count out. £180 for Tom and Anne and £330 for two Steves. They're playing well, so stick with it. You never know, you may be back. It's going to take me two minutes to count this out. They've got the bullies and tankers, of course, and the darts. That's worth taking anyway, isn't it? Just for that. Just for your little lad, eh? <laughs> she did well, really, you know. <laughs> See you in two minutes. <laughs> Let's mix with Rockefellers, walk with sticks and umbrellas in their midst. Putting New Ritz Crisp and Thins from the Ritz Bakery. After an incredible Premier League season, the excitement keeps coming. England back to back test series against Sri Lanka and Pakistan.
We might depart to the edition of Bullseye, the two boys from Huntingdon, true to Bullish Prize Board. But they can relax for a few minutes now because it's bronze bully time where we ask the professional dart player to throw nine darts and try and get 301 if he can. More than that, we'll double it and give it to a charity chosen by the two boys here. We've got a gentleman, it's his second time on Bullseye, he did well last time. We're glad to have him back from London, England International, Graham Miller. <laughs> have a good one, Graham. Best of luck, pal. OK, Graham. Nice applause there. Settle into it. Best of luck, Sam. 20. 20. And treble 20. Well played. <laughs> nice start, Graham. Treble 20. 20. And treble 20, 140. <laughs> yes. So take your time, Graham. 240 scored. 20. 20. Yes. And 25 has done it. 305. <laughs> well done, son. What a player. What a player. Oh. Hey, good lad. Good lad. Well, well, well. He went for the ball. That's excellent. Well, Brilliant. Obviously for the money. That's, that's amazing. a bottle job, isn't it? Well, well yeah, I think I just did, yeah. <laughs> it really is. Well, Very London well. for Huntingdon, so you're nearly local, aren't you? They're close enough. That's right. We've got <laughs> £610. How are you doing? You're keeping busy? Fine, yeah. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, obviously, I'm with the work, I've still got to work. Yes, sir. But... We've got £610. Come on, Big Gary, where's it going? To the special care baby unit. Fine, that's on its way at the end of the programme. Thanks very much indeed, Graham. Brilliant. Marvellous. Thanks very much. Sir. It's been brilliant to have you on the programme. I know you only wish him all the best. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, for charity tonight, £610, Graham Miller. <laughs> Yay! Good. We're getting through a lot this time. We're thrilled to bits about that. That's on its way at the end of the programme. It's all plain sailing for you now. You really are winners. Let's see what Bullish Prize Board has got for you tonight. In one. Get into the swing of gardening with this luxury garden hammock. In two. A kiddie snooker table. Just the thing for Alex Higgins. When he grows up. In three. The balance of power in your kitchen. These superb electronic scales. In four. Get rid of all your old bags. Win this luxury luggage set. In Five. A portable CD. What, Chas and Dave? No, compact disc. In six. Broaden your horizons with these precision binoculars. In seven. An automatic tea maker to steep while you sleep. In eight. Now you've always time for a bit of bully with this smart dartboard clock. And bully's special prize. A state-of-the-art video recorder. You'll have it taped. Really is a good one. You're bully star prize is a good one. Right, okay. right now look, boys. <clears throat> Nine prizes, you've heard Tony there and myself describe them. Nine red areas there, eight and bully special prize. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. You've got nine darts, we'd love you to take all the prizes home with you. First to the nine, off you go. That's lovely. OK, Gary, just settle into it. That's the way. Best of luck. That's red, it's number seven. That's fine, that's the tease made. That's the bullseye! You've got it, you've got bully special prize, that's the one you wanted. That is a lovely prize. Red number four. Fine, well that's OK, not a problem, that's the matching luggage. All right, I'll really take your time now. Are you winning well? <coughs> Remember what's gone, Donny. Your lights are out, go for the ones that are lit. Black. But that's red, it's number eight. Well done, that's the dartboard clock, that's a nice prize. Black. It's all okay, right, though. still three left, and you're looking good. Okay, Gary, make them all count. Go for your lights, Gary. Black. Black. But that's red. Well, it's number one. You got it. There it is. It's the garden swing hammock. Let's have a look at what you've won. A tease made. The set of matching luggage. The dartboard clock. The Garden Swing Hammock and Bully's special prize, the High Tech Video Recorder. Well done. Very well done. Now, boys, 
The £610 is off courtesy of Graham. That's off down to Huntingdon to your baby care unit. That's not that's the safest houses. The £430 that you now are in possession, it's now in your possession, is also safe if you choose to take it home. If you want to gamble, you've got to gamble the prizes and the £430 against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. 101 or more with six darts. I've said it for so many years, but I've got to say it again. You would go first, Donny, and then it would be Gary. If you win, you get all your prizes, your £430 and the star prize. If you lose, you get BFH. <laughs> That's your bus fare home, <laughs> which is not a lot to Huntingdon from here, is it? You've got the time it takes the clock to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do, and the audience are going to help you. What do you think? Tell us. Tell us. Are you looking at the girls? Are you going to look at the girls? <laughs> <laughs> it's round. The boys have looked. I'm not sure whether they're taking any notice at all of the girls sat there. Are you the spokesperson, Donny? Yeah, we're going to have a go, Jim. You're going to have a go for it. <laughs> non dart player first, then Gary. You're all the time in the world, 101 and more. Come on. Really slow down, really slow down. <laughs> OK, Donny, as I say, it's a big gamble, but settle into it. 101 and more for tonight's star prize. Best of luck. Four. Eighteen. And 20, that's a good start, that's 42. Gary, there you have it. 59 or more will take tonight's star prize. 20. 20. And 20! Yes! You got it! Have a look at what you've won. Have a look at this. Let's have a look at it. It's a fabulous holiday for four in the Dominican Republic. How's that? Is that all right? <laughs> Very well played. Very well played. We're absolutely thrilled to bits. A hospital in Huntingdon is £610 better off. These guys are worth a fortune and they're off to the Dominican Republic and very well played. That was really marvellous. Thanks very much to Graham Miller for coming tonight. He did very, very well. And Tony, of course, nice to see the two of them. Thank you for watching Bullseye. Winners again. We hope we're winners with you every week on Bullseye on Sundays. It wouldn't be the same without a bit of bully, would it? Give them a wave. Bye. On to yeah. Bye. <laughs>